to the point on RBA sometimes being flawed and what contributes contributes to those flaws, right? Uh, this regulation, para 5A of uh, the RBA master direction that you mentioned, it came in April 2020, okay? But uh, some, sometimes, I mean, there were debates we have had even with uh, some authorities. Banks were managing risks even before this paragraph was inserted. It was not that in April 2020 this para came and then we started managing our risks, right? We were managing it well enough even earlier. Uh, the key elements I think uh, that this paragraph brought very well and you read it out uh, here uh, is the necessity to present the results to the board and the necessity to have a debate at board level which makes sure that the tone is from the top down and the action items are well tracked to implementation. Uh, I was also reading one of the uh, papers published by uh, the MAS back when you know they had started this EWRA audit of the banks and across the audits that they did, they shared some flaws which is very relevant to the question that you asked. Uh, the realization was year on year we are using one so-called EWRA uh, template without tweaking it much, there will definitely be some changes internally in the last year as well as externally in the last year. So before we head on to our deliverable of EWRA and tabling it before the board as a completed exercise, do we spend time to refine our EWRA uh, you know, uh, program itself? And is EWRA a good combination of qualitative and quantitative methodology? It need not be dependent on a very mechanical approach of calculating the risk and assigning some uh, score. You know. Some of the other learnings that uh, you know, uh, are there, uh, uh, there are certain products which don't apply to certain you know, business segment, but they are included in all the spreadsheets because it's a you know, template. And that results in certain calculation mistakes that the person doing EWRA may not realize. For example, uh, trade, or an LC product is not given to a consumer banking individual base uh, customer. Indeed. However, in CBG EWRA also, people are risk rating the non-applicability of trade-based product and that is actually bringing down the score to a low level. Had it not been there in the spreadsheet, had enough thought been given about why is it being applied to a business segment where the product itself doesn't exist, the risk rating would have been, uh, you know, uh, better. Uh, 